Here's how to record my performance in Reason. Recording in Reason is very easy to do. First, I need to choose which instrument I would like to record in Reason. I'm going to use the Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Now I need to record enable this device. In order to do this, in Reason's Arrange window, I simply need to click on the Record Enable button. This will record enable the track for the Thor Polyphonic Synthesizer. Now, I want to make a couple other settings before I begin recording. If I want a click track or a metronome to record with, I enable my click by clicking on the click button. I can also tap my tempo, or if I want to manually enter my tempo, I can double click in the tempo box and enter a tempo manually. I can also change the tempo using the up and down arrows in the tempo box. I can do the same for the time signature, either manually entering or using the arrows to change my time signature. When I have made my desired settings to my arrangement for a reason, I can go ahead and press the record button. This will immediately begin recording and now I can start recording my performance in Reason. When I'm done with my recording, I can click on Stop. Now I have a new block available in my Reason arrangement. This block contains the MIDI data, which will therefore play back my instrument from my Reason rack. If I would like to make changes to this block, I can choose the Selection tool and double click on this block. Now, all of this block's MIDI data will be visible to me. I can make changes to this MIDI block's data by using the many tools available to me from Reason's palette. I can click on the pencil and add new notes. I can also delete notes by using the eraser tool. When I've made my desired changes to my MIDI block, I can click on the button labeled Edit Mode to exit Edit Mode and go back into my Arrangement Mode. Now I can continue to arrange my song by recording or copying blocks and creating my song in Reason 5.